2017 Supreme S238. Um, got this 238 sitting in Whisper Gray on the top deck and forward stripe. Um, white down the main and onyx black on the lower stripe there with a white hull bottom. Super clean looking boat. Um, sitting on a tandem axle extreme trailer with spare tires. Uh, you can see the extended step plates in the back as well as the transom straps for that. But uh, super clean looking 238. Kept it simple with the gray, black, and white. But looks amazing on the water as well. Uh, you see the cut windshield there. Which is new for... Um, the newer models, one, one being the 238, see that on the 211 as well. It's a massive boat. This thing comes in at 23 foot 8 inches. Nice and tall, deep boat. Um, deep V hull, front to back. So this thing handles and rides extremely smooth on rough water. Um, nice open bow in the front. Again, nice and deep, so if you got kids, uh, they'll feel nice, nice and secure up in the front. We do have a bow ladder on the trailer as well for easy access when you're trailering this thing. But uh, very spacious, comfortable boat to be out on the water in. Um, if you want to take a look up at the tower here, we're going to have a set of Wet Sounds tower speakers, or two, uh, two pairs rather. Um, set of swiveling board racks on the black octo tower and a bimini top. Um, you also see the quick clips for folding the tower right here. We'll take a look at those on the interior. Nice big Supreme graphic with the Surf Series logo as well. Onto the back, we're going to have our gator step on the platform. Grab handle and tow hook off the back. Uh, nice seat slash step with a couple cup holders on the rear and a transom stereo remote. And we'll hop up and you'll see the there's a walkthrough to get into the interior as well. But before we do that, let's take a look at what we've got going on in the back here. So we've got this boat option with quick surf and our quick fill ballast system. So um, you've got your stinger plate in the middle, trim tab, and uh, your quick surf tabs on either side. Um, and that's going to throw this thing over left or right to clean up the wake. Uh, full adjustability on both plates um, and, and the stinger plate in the middle um, to fully change up how your wake is shaping up for you. Um, and if you'll see right next to our exhaust flap, we've got two intakes into the boat. So this is our quick fill ballast system. Essentially there's an actuator that opens a gate, floods the hull, uh, two tanks in the back full of water. Those fill extremely fast. Something like 30 seconds from start to finish. Um, and then you simply, um, when you want to drain them, open the gates and start driving and it'll flush right out of the back end of the boat. So pretty cool, uh, pretty cool system there. It eliminates the pumps for those two tanks. But we've upgraded the ballast on this to, uh, to have some plug and play bags in here as well. So let's hop up inside, take a look at the interior. We've gone with gray all over, uh, with black seat boxing, black accents, and white piping. Um, then we've done like the snap out um, floor mat in there as well through the interior. Um, as you, as I mentioned before, we've got the gator stepped walkthrough pad to go into the interior. But what a big boat! I mean, so much room in here. The boat seats. 16 people so plenty of room in this thing especially up in the bow there's a ton of ton of space 
Um, let's hop in and check the back end, what we've got going on before hopping. I'm going through the inside. So this 238 is equipped with the uh, PCM Crusader, or I'm sorry, Challenger Series um, six liter motor. It's 409 horsepower. Plenty of power for this 238. Um, ready to hit the water. We've also added the plug and play bags on top of our quick fill tanks in the back. So you've got those two. Uh, you can actually see the four pumps in the back. Those are for all four of the bags set up in this boat. So we've got the two quick fill tanks in the back, the two bags in the back. There's a belly tank and then a nose or a, a nose bag and a belly bag in this. So I believe that adds up to somewhere right around 2,500 pounds of ballast, and we've got everything full. Let's pop that down and take a look back onto the interior here. Um, again. Four, four tower speakers, wet sounds. You're gonna have six wet sounds interior speakers as well. So four in the main cockpit, and then two more up in the bow, plus a subwoofer under the driver's area, which we'll pop that open as well. Um, you're gonna have nice, big, long storage pockets down the left side of the boat here. Same thing with the right. We got the boat cover straps and poles in there. This does include a full cover. It is gray, has the hang tight um, system to uh, do the, uh, the string to the tower to hold it up, keep water from pooling on it. So that works really well. Pretty cool feature. Um, let's pop open our storage under the glove box. So you can see, let me move this out of the way. Got our life jackets in there. Dual battery setup in here. Um, two wet sounds amps for all the speakers in the boat. One for the tower, the one for uh, the six speakers in the sub. Cover popped up in the front there. Plenty of room for other gear in that storage area as well. Glove box. Got a couple charging ports in there as well as a USB and auxiliary input for the stereo. Um, stereo is a Clarion stereo head unit and it is equipped with Bluetooth. Glove box is on a friction hinge as well, so no gas shocks in there. Works really well. Got our curved mirror on the, on the windshield here uh, and also 35% window tint across the uh, the whole windshield here and uh, let's hop on over to the dash so we've upgraded to the uh, the touchscreen dash on the middle so you're gonna run all your um, speed control ballast and cruise uh, cruise control ballast and surf system off of that and you also got like uh, all your engine diagnostics and things of that nature on the home screen it's super simple and uh, straightforward to use that also got your analog gauges for speed and rpms everything else on the boat is ran off of the rocker switches so you've got your nav lights for nighttime horn stereo switch interior lights a couple open accessory switches and then your bilge and blower over there pretty simple stuff um, nice grippy steering wheel it is adjustable as well as you can see with the tab move that thing around and then here's your controls for your center trim tab or stinger plate rather. And back here is the uh, head unit as well. So again, Sirius ready, Bluetooth is hooked up with it. Um, pretty straightforward head unit to use. Driver's seat swivels, slides, and has the flip up bolster to go along with it. As you can see, it's a very spacious interior on here. Sit down in the boat nice and deep. So you're gonna have a nice dry ride. If you got little kids, they're gonna feel secure down, uh, down inside the boat. Great quality on the interior. The vinyl, I'll get a little bit closer, is like a textured vinyl. So you can see that right there a little bit better. Um, have, have spent some time out on the water in this boat. 
Um, interior stays nice and cool. It's easy to clean. Um, you know, hides dirt and stuff pretty well as opposed to, you know, some of the white interiors you'll find out there. And then our massive bow up in the front. Uh, a couple more cup holders, speakers, grab handles. Um, I'll pop open the seat here. I'll show you there. We've got our bow bag plumbed in. That lives under the bow seats. Also in here, the subwoofer box is mounted in there below the uh, dash pod. And then you do have access to the storage area under the glove box from the front. So you can load boards and gear in and out, whether you be in the front or the back of the boat. And storage netting in the walkthrough. And I'll stand up tall and give you guys another look um, at the back here. Oh, one other thing. You'll see the gator step all on the gunnels from the back all the way to the front of the boat. Really great for uh, coming up on the dock and stepping out of the boat. You're not going to slip and fall on any of that stuff. Um, forgot to mention, the speed control on here is GPS Perfect Pass. So, works extremely well. Tried and true GPS Perfect Pass on here. But uh, overall, again, super comfy boats are be out in the boat or on the lake all day. Uh, great, great surf boat with this ballast setup. And uh, just overall, a nice, big, comfy, supreme to be in out on the water. So if you guys have any questions, give us a call, 317-845-9253. Come check it out or set up a demo anytime. Thanks for watching.